guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cheyenne. Today's video is an unboxing of Buxy Charm for the month of June. And I calculated everything together. All these items total were $157, which is really great because I spent $26.75 to be exact on just the one box. So I hope you enjoy and get ready with me again. Okay, so the first product I am going to be placing on my face is this Tula Skincare. It's a glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm. So this is supposed to hydrate and cool and fills in the look of lines and wrinkles. Let's see how this looks when I take it out of the box. Looks like a little stick foundation, but it's really just eye care. So let's take that off. Take this little applicator thing off. It has some shimmer to it. It's shiny. I'm not sure how to put this on my eyes, but I'm just gonna go for it. Like, I guess I'll just wipe it off. I don't wanna wipe this on my face, you know? Unless it's gentle. I mean, it's kinda gentle. So, it's not like tugging at my skin, so that's good. It's nice and smooth. It is definitely cooling. Ooh. Nice. So there's that item. I did not get the price chart, so I had to look them up. This was priced $35, and you can find it at Walmart. There's that. Next item I'm going to dip into is this Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream. It has SPF of 30. Wow. This is beauty through Asian wisdom. A multitasking beauty balm that is a foundation, antioxidant moisturizer, and let's see. The benefits improve skin complexion, softens, and even, even skin tone. Hydrates the skin, helps reduce fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots. I like the sound of that. Let's try this. And it's in the shade tan. So luckily I've been getting some sun recently. Let's see what this looks like. I wonder if I should put on my beauty blender and just go away with it. It is definitely tan. I also wanted to give an update on what else has been going on in my life. The other day I went shopping with one of my friends. We went to Indy, which is probably about 45 minutes away from where I live. And while we were on our way back from our shopping journey, I get a phone call from my husband saying that his car caught fire. Um, I was definitely shocked. Wow, this is really tan. But um, yeah, and Alicia said that before we left that, there was a lady outside of our apartment complex that was acting very strange and suspicious. Um, she had her dog with her and she was like circling the building a few times, got in her car for a little bit, walked back out and then into the apartment. She was saying to check and see if she locks her lock your car door because her ex-boyfriend was broken in, like broke into her car the night before stole her phone this that and the other she just wasn't all there so come to find out it was her car that blew up in flames that's what we're dealing with now so the passenger side of my husband's car is melted so tomorrow i believe i am following him to take his vehicle to get fixed at the toyota place where he purchased his car so it's just crazy i hope that lady gets caught like i hope you know she gets consequences for possibly blowing up her car you know this is very tan but I'm just gonna roll with it. This is what it's looking like so far. I look burnt, like crispy. It's fine. I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Maybe I can brighten it up with like some concealer or something. So I used this. This I said was $35, which is great because I spent $26 on this boxy charm. Bye. Next item I got was this Dr. Brandt Skin Changing Science. It's a recovery sleeping mask. Take a look at what this is. It comes in a tube. 
It's for all skin types. Apply masks to clean and dry skin before bedtime. Do not rinse. Use nightly. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And this, my friends, I looked up and this is $52. So that's a pretty good deal. This recovery mask, wear it at night. I've never heard of such thing. Oh, it's like a green tint to it. Very silky. So I can't wait to use this product. That's pretty cool. Smells clean. All right, I got this item. It was BU Beauty Vault. This is a lip liner trio. Looks like that. Open it up and see what shades we have. Ooh, these are really pretty. These are definitely up my alley. They're like berry colors. Love that. So this, I tried looking up and I did find that you can buy off of eBay for like 10 bucks. So that's not too bad. This feels kind of thick on my skin. It's different. I'm not used to this. Okay. Next item I got was this palette, Touch and Soul Fill Up Orange. So this product I looked up. And it retailed for $32. Let's take a look inside. I had to play doctor with this palette, not gonna lie. Um, taking that off. These are the shades. Really pretty. There's a shimmer in there and some mattes. There's a few mattes in there. Um, so when I got this, this whole glitter um, circle palette was out all over the other shades, so it kind of looks wonky, but I mean, that's the risk I take wearing makeup online <laughs> or, you know, getting it mailed to me. So these shade names are pretty cute. It's like Espresso Tart, But First Cafe. So it's like a coffee type vibe. Caution Hot, Brown Sugar, Chai Full, Milk Foam. So let's get into it. I'm gonna put my concealer on to kind of brighten my face up because right now I'm looking a bit toasty. Definitely not my shade, but we'll roll with it. Just wanted to test the product out. I mean, I bought it. Why not try it? It's been a pretty chill day. I did not go to the gym this morning because on leg day, I think I put too much weight on one of my legs and it hurts to walk. So hopefully it'll heal up soon. I've been ice packing it and taking it easy. We ordered pizza. I'm watching movies. My husband's watching The Matrix right now. I don't know why. That movie trips me out. Okay, so while this is setting, I'm going to bronze my face and then we will get into putting these eyeshadow shades onto my eyelid. I bronzed my face, did some highlight, kind of brought me back to life a little bit. So I'm going to dip into this palette. First shade I'm going to use is this light colored one just for the base. I've never used this brand. It's called Touch and Soul. So we shall see how this plays out. I I think I'm going to possibly use this really vibrant, it almost looks like coral -y. I'm gonna dab this into my crease if you want to do a little zoom, Jonah. And just kind of swoop it out, not being too perfect with it. So far, it's not patchy. It's always good. Pretty smooth. I'm doing the same with this side. Definitely matches the shirt I wore today. Wanted to be very orange, summerish looking. Okay. Looking at this, I'm going to use this darker shade right here. I know it's in focus, it's kind of hard to tell. And I'm going to use this Sephora brush. Ooh, my favorite brush. And I'm going to go into my crease. Hmm. Okay. 
this one. It's kind of tough to work with, not gonna lie, but we'll get there. Wow. It has like this texture to it, the shimmers, but it makes it hard to blend two shades together. Oops. And it's coming off patchy. As you can see, there's like little balls falling clunks of the eyeshadow. Maybe if I just hit off the excess. Can I come back to save this look? I'll be right back. How do you take a towel? Dust off some excess. Maybe if I get this and just brush it out. There we go. Better. I'm just gonna take this bigger brush and just kind of like blend it, buff it out so it doesn't look so blunt. That helped a little bit. Super pretty now. Okay, and then I'm going to use like a little brush like that and then go in with this really pretty curl color again. And go underneath my eyes. And then dip into this brown color again. Just to smoke it out. Really pretty. And then I'm going to dip into some really pretty shimmery color. It's right above this very blunt orange color. I'm going here to brighten my little eyes out. Very pretty. I'm going to take that same shade I just used above my eye and just go underneath my eyebrow. Very pretty. Then I am going to get some glitter on and just go in my inner corner. Just plop it on there like so. This texture is creamy. Wow. I like it. And that is my quick little eyeshadow look using this fill up orange. It is time to get in there and do some cat eye possibly. As per usual, my Rev line. Just They look pretty even. And 
now it is time for some mascara. I'm gonna use the Subtle Temptation. Dust off some mascara I got on my eye. over it. I like using two mascaras sometimes so there we have it. Some mascara and then I'm going to use the Cozy Kira the lip liner I got in my boxy charm. Hmm. Maybe I have to sharpen these. It's not going out. Lip liner on. I'm going to use my Anastasia Kiss lipstick. And then I'm gonna set my face. I'm about out of my setting spray. I need to get more. One of these days I'll get my life together. But this is a completed look using my BoxyCharm makeup of the month. <laughs> it's really pretty. I like the way this turned out. I'm gonna take my hair out for the day. I left it in on one braid. I didn't leave it in overnight, so it's not going to be like super curly, but it just gives some texture, which is nice. We all love that texture, and that is my completed look. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me using my boxy charm. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!